Ronix J. Kenny once interacted with the people of Planet Rogue, set foot on the forbidden planet Styx, and led us to victory in our conflict with the planet Fox. <laughs> Claude C. Kenny violated your precious pact, planting the seeds of the planet Expel joining the Federation. As a result, our studies of symbometrics expanded greatly. Yes, but... It was much the same when your ancestor, Captain Emerson, found gravitic engine technology. <sighs> History has proven that the law must be broken at times to move worlds forward. And at this moment, that role falls upon my shoulders. What authority does a Kenny have to try and stop me? I... I... I'm... Don't listen to this ass, Mariel. He's just trying to manipulate you. Oh, really? The reason for Mariel's ancestors breaking the rules was because following them would have led to the deaths of lots of innocent people. Don't lump them in with a dumbass trying to steal other people's stuff for his own selfish gain. A Vergoldian defending the crimes of the most esteemed family in the Federation. Now this is rich. Those crimes were defined by the Federation on its own terms. Your rules don't mean shit to those of us on the outside. Ray, I'm okay now. Thank you. What you say is true. My family's track record as soldiers of the Federation was perhaps never the most praiseworthy. And my distaste for my family's legacy is precisely why I swore to myself that I would uphold Federation law to the letter during my career. But I will not abide by words from you. Childish logic. Excusing your own actions because someone else did it? Have you no shame? A Kenny through and through. Your Excellency, it would appear reaching a consensus with these fools through discourse and the physical realm is futile. What shall we do? They serve no purpose in the expansion of the Federation or the evolution of the Scorpion. Any who would keep the Simbo drive from us are undeserving of mercy. Baldor, just what do you think you are doing? Did you come all this way simply to be used by this petty man? <laughs> Is that not as it should be, Leticia, my child? You wish to stop me, yes? Then is it not to your benefit that your foe be small and weak? My actions are all for the benefit of Scorpium and the Centralists. Fight me! Promise me I'll keep be told. It has not been long the Scorpium Network. Who? Centralist solace. Thus, I would like to ask that you all join me in celebrating my coronation. Baldor, dispatch of these things. How low you have fallen, Baldor. Your sons of all will be sacked. <laughs> One who is not of Scorpion would never understand. It appears my confidence in him was misplaced. Differences in individual performance are hard to predict. That is how you would speak of one who pledged loyalty and would die for you? You are a most contemptible wretch indeed. You still say such things after all that you've seen. There is no concept of loyalty within Scorpion. We are a group within the greater Scorpion network, with myself occupying the top position of Sovereign. Nothing more or less. Incompatible. The term Sovereign is entirely incompatible with the Scorpion we understand. Had things been different, 
You would have been my father-in-law. It is unfortunate that this is how your life ended. But... I will avenge you. This is evolution. The greatest evolution in the cosmos. The everlasting prosperity of the Pangalactic Federation begins now under my rule. We will never let that happen! Remington Kurtzman, your misguided ambitions end here and now! Don't get cocky. That look suits you, you know. It really shows off the colors of the rot that infest the Federation. Dragoon will soon become a member of the Centralist cause. The day you will support the Centralist cause. may actually be a good thing. If we defeat him here, it will invalidate the concept of a Scorpion Network with a leader. We need to defeat him either way. He must pay for making a mockery of the Federation and my family's history. I'll beat you to a pulse! Take him out! and Scorpion are going to be much better off with you out of the picture. Damn it all! I only integrated to build a utopia! A union between Scorpion and the Federation! Voldor! <gasps> Voldor! He lives yet! Nina! Maester Midas! The way he is, I don't think... Even if possible, his Scorpion body can't be repaired here. There's nothing we can do. But... <laughs> Summon the fleet to Verkness! This is far from over! 
I must lead Scorpion and the Federation. <laughs> Unfortunately, it appears that your time is at an end. Your Excellency. <coughs> what? Did you truly believe a fool such as you would be appointed sovereign? You have been nothing more than a stepping stone to prepare the network for the true sovereign. That is the consensus of our network. <laughs> What did you just... Felling me or Remington will not halt Scorpion. Oh, we're definitely gonna stop your invasion of her gold. We'll speak to those Scorpion that have faculty of speech and enforce Federation regulations. This kind of Scorpion lawlessness will not be allowed in the galaxy any longer. If the conceptual sovereign individual vanishes, in time, Scorpion will be restored to our correct state. <laughs> correct. <laughs> correct. You understand nothing. Neither you nor Remington know what is true, what is correct in this life. Is he truly dead this time? We can confirm that the individual named Bulldor is deceased. Remington's biological activity has also ceased. I would assess that we have stopped the centralist insurrection for the time being. Small comfort after everything. It could not have been your wish to fall so far from home. Baldor, all this suffering, to what end? <laughs> <laughs>